प्रतिकारा प्रतिकार बलापुरुत्नी India and we warmly welcome you to Nuga Seven Hour program on national television. Doctor, good morning to you. Adha katha karan hi to amulin ma me treatment. Zeh matan tam me sandhati na pratikara sambandhav. E pratikara ke na katha karadi apy e tumi ke dana gamu koi vidhi hatda me pratikara tiyaran e karan ne kela rogiya ano e rog thattve ano. Now, doctor, getting into the subject matter directly with the time we have, uh, how to decide the particular treatment for these uh, infertility cases? basically uh, we do the blood test to check the hormones we do an ultrasound to check the uterus and the ovaries and uh, hysterosalpingogram to check the uh, cavity the inside of the uterus where the baby grows and the fallopian tubes whether it is open or not whether it has any fluid collection and last but most important is the semen analysis for the male so based on this we get our uh, uh, diagnosis if we have uh, polycystic ovaries fibroids ovariances and uh, Uh, chocolate cysts as well as uh, uh, blocked tubes or fluid in the tubes all these things can be managed with the hysteroscopy and laparoscopy we have uh, the 3d laparoscopy which is uh, really really good because you can see things so clearly and uh, the polycystic ovaries can be treated particularly the chocolate cysts it's very important that you take out only the abnormal tissue and leave the normal tissue because it should continue to produce eggs so that you can clearly identify with the 3d laparoscopy so the uh, this uh, surgery is very very successful when you use a 3d and uh, most important of all you can remove fibroids as large as 10 12 15 cm and uh, multiple fibroids also through the uh, 3d laparoscopy most important is suturing the uterus back in place because this uterus has to hold a baby through the whole 9 months of pregnancy so the suturing is done very very beautifully with the 3d laparoscopy and uh, Uh, I have been working with the Sri Lankan population for the last uh, 18 years, and I have found that uh, the changes in the shape of the uterus, the T-shaped uterus, the arcuate uterus, all these are very, very common in the Sri Lankan population. More than it is in the uh, patients from the other parts of the world. And uh, the hysteroscopy is a very wonderful piece of equipment where you just go inside the uterus and you correct the shape and. Uh, Uh, this procedure takes only about 10 15 minutes but it gives lots and lots of pregnancies patients get pregnant even without ivf they've tried many many years they've had recurrent miscarriages they come i do the procedure i give a date for the ivf but then i get a phone call after 2 3 months saying i'm pregnant so it's very very gratifying uh, procedure and um, if that is the only problem then it's very uh, if this procedure is very useful and gives maximum uh, success rates now uh, regarding the blocked tubes that also can be cleared through the hysterolaparoscopy and if there is fluid in the tubes it is better to disconnect because this dirty water comes into the uterus and disturb the babies so we counsel the patients adequately because everyone feels very upset that a tube is being disconnected but then this is an uh, tube which is deceased with preventing a pregnancy so uh, i mean we convince them and uh, they do agree to do this procedure uh, after that you know patients get if the other tube is normal they get pregnant so all patients essentially don't need ivf which is you know many of them are scared because uh, they feel that ivf will be recommended it's not like that 80% of patients when you do a hysterolaparoscopy then and the other simpler procedures like uh, you know producing eggs at the right time and if you if you do a procedure like an iui where you prepare the sperms and put it inside the uterus which is meant for uh, patients with a low count or those who have had multiple uh, attempts unexplained infertility where everything is fine and they are not getting pregnant so these procedures are enough only the 
remaining 15 to 20 percent of patients actually need an IVF. Obde kya na manang ay sandhan karapto roto roto valin saaran shukata karla. Udhre parikshan osse me rogatatyan handuna ganne pulan meet heetu ay me daru palya khata ganne nette kya na deeta heetu ay hoya ganne pulan. In pasu vishesh mubad danna hunda karami laparoscopy vage parikshan ay atarino 3D laparoscopy bohma saart kai vage magar bashagata arbu de matan tamme fibroids ilangre adhakale bohma bahula va apita hamoy na tawat rogatatya kwaad patra din me PCOS natam पॉलिसिस्टिक कोवेरियन में डिजीज़ से का ये लंगड़ा टॉपिक आता करो तो में पेलोपियन आल आवाहिरवी में में नाल वाला थी ना विविधा बाद में वक्त तात्व हमें का गटम में प्रतिकार कराने टा वस्ता वाला बिना विशेष इन में लैपरोस्कोपी परीक्षण उससे आदाल तात्व यान हांडुनागन एवा हरी टॉपिकिनो मैनेज मावस्ता वाले दी या दाल उपदेश पीड़ित पदी में ये अदाल पर विशेष रूप से आप ही फाइब्रोइड्स गने का ताकरा में वाके सिस्ट पुंची गर्भाशय अतिवन पुंची पगेडी वर्ग इतने में वाके तत्व वाले टा प्रतिकार के रूप में में दारुपालयक बहुत में निरोगी दारुपालयक तिकर गने टा मावस्ता वाले बिना किया and uh, that is that was regarding the treatment and uh, after how many years that a couple should go for a treatment whether it's IVF or IUI when do they need to go for a doctor you see after one year of marriage investigation start so we start with simpler treatments and uh, IUI um, we do for there's a category called unexplained infertility so in them we do it because uh, there is some antibody at the level of the mouth of the uterus which prevents the sperm from going in so when you do an IUI you bypass that and then the egg and the sperm are also closer to each other so this step number one is clear with laparoscopy hysteroscopy step number two is do the IUI and let's suppose the tubes are blocked or after six IUIs are over six IUIs is the international cutoff for I if after that pregnancy does not happen then we decide that this couple has to go for IVF but direct patients who go for IVF are those who have blocked tubes those who have very low sperm counts and those who have no sperm count and those who have a, a very low uh, egg count because they have endometriosis or other issues so those with a low ovarian reserve these are the an unexplained infertility so these are the people who go directly for IVF Deng, eh, sandhan kere me pratikara valto yomui me di. Deng, wassarak paman kahal ya, kewahain pasu obat darupala apeksha awen ni dala. Wassarak paman gayunu thana me vidi ata darupala aku betul labe ni netang. An eya wasta awiti thama yo bahandu naga te yutte waide varik. Sandha waide upades pata obat yomui. Nita wasya ikela eva game ma international cut off. Eka matan tham jatya antara matamin pirigan ne IUI hayak kraim pas thama yo ilangat IVF kena pratikara krame sandha obat te yomui nita awasya win ne. Itin e sambandwa waide varun ge upades anu. निवेदित मार्ग पर नियमित एकता तमाम में प्रतिकार संधाय योग्य नेट आवश्यक है ने ये वाक्य में देखना कि वह संधान कला दें पुरातन इन दिल थी ना मध्य आक्तम में खान तावंट दारुपला हिमी वीम नमूत इतना खान तावंगे गर्भाशय हो प्रजनन का पादती हो तीन गैटलो आपको इतना रखने में ऐसा हम आवश्यकता वाला दी एक पुरुष हैं इनके विशेष में शुक्राणु वाला मार्टम में शुक्राणु वाला आप इसके ना क्वांटिटी एस वेल एस द क्वालिटी में इधर प्रमाणात्मक वे वाके में गुणात्मक भावे गैटलो कारी तात्यंत मतलब तम पुरुष इनके शुक्राणु संख्या व बिंदु आए शुक्राणु ऐंगे तो ले नह सो भाभी कम पीठ डाला नह ये वाके अवस्था वाले ये वाके तत्व वाले टा प्रतिकार दिए ना वादे ये वास आर्थ का देखिए लाइट में गिन्दा नगमो फॉर एन इंस्टेंट डॉक्टर नाउ इफ देर इस केस लाइक वी हैव मेट दोस काइंड ऑफ प now, um, now there are patients with uh, zero sperm count. You just we have to find out whether there is a problem with production, whether there is any block in the passage, or is there a low production. So, how do we identify this? We do a blood test called FSH. If the blood test value is very high, for example, 35, 40, we know that the production is almost nil. If the blood, if the FSH is around 10, 20, up to 25, 30, then uh, there is production, but it is a low production, and therefore. If we do a biopsy, we will be able to take sperms. There are some patients with a normal FSH. So for them, production is normal, but because of the block in the passage, we, the sperms are unable to come out. So the next step, we do a biopsy. And we have India's first 40 power microscope, 
we were originally doing it with the, uh, a 10 power microscope. Now with the 40 power microscope, we are able to identify sperms in 70% of patients where biopsies have previously said that there is no sperm. So uh, even up to 35 FSH value, we are able to identify sperms because we see it at such powerful magnification and we pick up these sperms, we freeze them and then we use them for the process of ICSI. So it is possible. Now suppose the value is more than 40, there is no sperm at all, what do we do? Initially we had no treatment but now we take blood from the man, we process it to produce a platelet rich plasma which is not stem cell but just one step below the stem cell and we inject it into the testis and about three months later we take a biopsy and we check and see whether there are any sperms. Now this is about 10 to 12 percent successful but for men who are totally against accepting donor sperm this is an option. ක්‍රමයක්ක්තියනවාද <laughs> Idiot Avitian and Karagana Katakale. Api, maybe the Katabakaragan in the Danagan and Avasha, Shishima Koi, with the head of the Pratikaragrams on the Hapi Stania, Emanata Rohala, is on the half fertility center, Toragan, Nikila, I think Eganatapi, Egan Danagamu. Now, how to choose the best place for this issue? Uh, whether it's a married couple, like they, they need to have a baby. So, how do, and to whom should they go? See, choosing an IVF center is um, one of the most important things in the patient's mind now because they have a limited amount of money, they have to get the best result the first time. So an IVF center which has uh, been in the field for a very long time, they have lots of experience and uh, the consultants for example, um, we uh, go for international conferences, national conferences, we discuss, we present papers. So we have updated knowledge and we update our uh, te technology every year. For example, in Prashant fertility, normally ICSI means you choose sperm at 400 magnification and uh, once the baby is formed, you put it in an incubator which is an open system, daily you have to take the baby out, check under the microscope for development and put it back. This is what is done everywhere. But if you want to go for the highest technology, you uh, use sperm at 7000 magnification that is called IMC and once the baby is ready, you put it in an incubator called the embryoscope which is the world's highest uh, incubator, it is designed like the human body, so the quality of the embryo is good. Also there is an inbuilt camera which keeps on taking pictures of development, software analyzes and you select the best embryos for transfer. So you create and select the best embryo here and once the baby is ready, you put it, uh, you have to put it inside. If the shell is very thick, the baby takes a long time to come out and it is old so success rates drop. So we use the laser to thin it down so that it comes out on time and to help it to stick to the lining of the uterus, we coat it with something called embryo glue. So this is high technology IVF and the success rates definitely zoom up from 65 percent to 80 percent when you use the technology. Now there are a group of patients who have recurrent miscarriages, recurrent IVF failures, so for them we have to analyze the reason why it's happening and it, we use something called an ERA. ERA means endometrial receptivity array. For most people the window of implantation is big it's about 10 days but for some people it's only 10 hours. So to identify this sort of patient, we take a sample of the uh, lining of the uterus, send it for genetic analysis and that tells us the exact time when to put the baby inside and this gives you enormous success rates when in patients who have failed earlier. Now there are some people who have a problem in the embryo itself and for them we use the laser, we take one single cell, send it for genetic analysis and and this reports normal and abnormal embryos. We took take only the normal embryos and we put it into the uterus. This is called pre-implantation genetic screening. So this sort of technology helps to identify normal embryos and the patients are able to get pregnant uh, in that cycle itself. So this is one of the highest technologies in IVF, the pre-implantation diagnosis, endometrial receptivity array. And for people who don't have eggs, we use the platelet rich plasma, we inject it into the ovary and 10 to 12 percent of patients they have an improvement and this is very important in patients who want their own eggs. Similarly, it is injected into the testis like we described earlier. So all these things, um, the technology is so good that 
the success rates can be really better. And most important of all, when they fall negative, you have to spend enough time to actually talk to the patient, identify the exact reason and treat that reason. Once the embryo is in, we use all medications to maintain the blood flow, to decrease the natural killer cell population in the lining, which actually eats away the baby. And uh, if you decrease the levels, then success rates are better. And we also give something to keep the blood flow all the time uh, so that the clots are not formed. And um, also anti-rejection, immunological background, these sort of way, we, are give, we give them some uh, drugs for anti-rejection and all these, they support the baby and you're able to get a healthy baby at the end of it. Yes, uh, doctor was explaining like, why did you say that you have to do the same thing in the first place? You have to do the same thing in the first place. You have to do the same thing in the first place. You have to do the same thing in the first place. You have to do the same thing in the first place. You think, Magaharava again, a coy did the Sartaka, may the Karaganiki, like Pahada Dunam Shishima, Prashant Fertility Research Center, India, Chenna, and Vertamai, May Madestani, then it in Asandankala, Aditakshani, Bavita, Karamin, Shishima, Ivy, a fan, could Pratikara Kramahidis to Karnabata. One last question from Doctor How many deliveries or rather how many babies that your center was able to produce from Sri Lanka itself? Totally about uh, uh, about 9,000 and odd babies about 4,700 of them in Sri Lanka and an equal number outside Sri Lankans outside uh, Sri Lanka from all over the world. You know, they are there all over the world. So um, um, this is what uh, is important because the more babies you give, the, you know, the more patients uh, recognize your uh, uh, credentials and more and more of them come for treatment. And uh, at the moment, the target is to make everybody pregnant. I keep on trying and definitely uh, you know, the very difficult cases also, I think 98% of them, we've been able to get them pregnant. Adika Sankhya Vak Sri Lanka Ave Kanta Avante Daru Prasuti Akkara Langa Ave Neta Ayya Gemi Madhya Sthane Osse Hekya Avala Baadhi Tena Vakya La Daru An Haara Daha Kata Adika Sankhya Vak Abhi Me Sambandhava Thawad Thawaska Kata Akkarana Suda Naa Yuna Thawad Bohu Me Aktoro Thuru Kata Abha Karana Tena Vishishima Prashant Fertility Research Center Kiya Ne Sammana La Bhi Madhya Sthane Ak Madhya Saru Bhaave Sandha Prati Kaara Karana Itin Ayya Vishishima Times of India Me Sangra Vosse Pavatana Da Sangar Ne Kadhi Pava Thamil Nadu Prante Palavani Sthane Te Vag इंडिया आवश्यक समस्या की दिल्ली का दामा इन हाथ रमिन स्थान ये मैं भी दिल्ली सामान्य रस्ता कुछ ऐसे में यूरोपीय मगे इन पवातन ने थवात तरंग वाले जायग्रहणे का लेमा देता मैं भी दिल्ली हटा सामान्य रस्ता की इन पिदुम लबु स्ट्रेन का तकरीम ले यह लिन इन्ना मध्य स्थान एक वायदे तुम्हें अत्यंत